Dear members, good morning and warm welcome to all of you to the 39th annual general meeting of Newland Laboratories Limited, held through video conferencing facility or other audiovisual means. For the smooth conduct of the meeting, all the members will be in the mute mode. Audio and video facility will be enabled for those members who have registered themselves as speaker shareholder once the chairman announces to commence question and answer session. If you wish to raise any queries during the meeting, please post the queries by clicking on the communicate icon available on the screen. Please note that, as per the requirements of the law, the proceedings of the annual general meeting will be recorded and the transcript for the same will be available on the website of the company. I now hand over the proceedings to Ms. Sarda Bamidipati, Company Secretary of Newland Laboratories Limited. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Babu. Good morning and a warm welcome to all of you to the 39th annual general meeting of New Land Laboratories. We hope that you all are safe during these incessant trains and appreciate your presence at the meeting today. The 39th annual general meeting of the company is being held using audiovisual means. I would like to take you through certain details regarding the participation at this meeting. The facility of joining the AGM through video conference is being made available for the members on first come first serve basis. Once the question and answer session starts, the moderator will announce the names of the shareholders who have registered as speaker shareholder in the order of registration and they will be unmuted by the host. The speaker shareholders are advised to put video on while speaking. If any speaker shareholder fails to speak using video mode, he or she may speak using audio mode with earphones on. If there is any connectivity issue at the registered speaker's end, the next speaker will be asked to join and the host will provide an opportunity to such speaker at the end. We request the shareholders to kindly restrict their speech to two to three minutes. During the proceedings of the AGM, if any member faces any issue, they may contact the helpline number mentioned in the notice of the AGM. The registers as required under the Companies Act are open for inspection. We have the statutory auditors, secretarial auditors, cost auditors, and internal auditors of the company, and the scrutinizer to the e voting present on that. I now request our executive chairman, Dr. D. R. Rao, to conduct the meeting. Good morning, everyone. I feel privileged uh, to welcome all of you to the 39th annual general meeting of your company. In view of the presence of the requisite quorum, I call this meeting to order. I would like to mention that we have Dr. Christopher Sumaristi, Mr. Homi Kusrukan, Dr. Nirmala Murthy, Ms. Pallavi Bakru, Mr. Priya Maya, Ms. Prasad Menon, and Mr. Sugata Sarkar participating from their respective locations. Mr. Bharti Ram and Mr. Himan Dandadge could not attend due to personal reasons. We also have Mr. Suchet, Mr. Sahash, Ms. Abhijit Majumdar and Ms. Sarada Bhamidipati from our management team in this meeting. I thank all the members and invitees for joining this meeting. We are conducting CGM through video conference facility pursuant to the directions of the Minister of Corporate Affairs and Securities and uh, Securities and Exchange Board of India. The company has taken requisite steps to allow members to cast their votes on the business being con considered at the AGM. Since there is no physical attendance of the members, the appointment of proxy is not applicable. Members who have not voted using remote voting can cast their votes on in the NSCL e-voting website web page. Since the notice is already circulated to all the members, I take the notice and director's report along with the auditor's report as read. Good morning, everyone. Again, friends. I would like to welcome you once again to Newland's 39th AGM. I feel privileged to stand as this is the 40th year of company's existence and at the helm of the affairs all these years. As I reflect on the, on the past year, I take pride in Newland's ability to withstand macroeconomic uncertainty, including supply chain disruptions and high inflation worldwide. Despite these challenges, we not only met the rigorous quality and scientific expectations of our customers, but also achieved higher levels of customer satisfaction and delivered a strong performance. Since its inception, Newland has been actively involved in the manufacture of 
generic active pharmaceutical ingredients. However, we have also persuaded a clear strategic direction to expand or focus on complex molecules, leveraging our expertise in synthetic chemistry and process development. This strategic approach has given our entry into the realm of specialty APIs, new chemical entities, and peptides, while simultaneously catering to the API needs of the generic pharmaceutical companies. Our journey has been characterized by constant evolution with unwavering focus on placing the customers at the center of our, all our endeavors. Even as a customer centricity has been our hallmark of our company, the, the other attribute which is equally significant is our DNA of this quality. As many of you have read or heard, I started Julian because of the need for a quality focused API company in India. From the very beginning, you learned the embrace the culture of non-negotiable commitment to quality. We have implemented robust systems and processes to ensure compliance with most stringent regulatory standards. Our proven track record on quality and compliance has built a very strong customer relationships and solidified our core. As we move forward, we remain dedicated to enhancing our quality focus and optimizing our prospect theater efficiency. Embracing technology and digitalization plays a crucial role in our continuous improvement efforts. Coming back to our business, over the past decade, we have transitioned to a much larger pipeline of custom manufacturing services, molecules for innovator companies, as well as expanded our specialty offerings. This strategic shift has unlocked more opportunities to meet the emerging customer needs. In, in the financial 2023, a, a strong growth of our CMS business and specialty APS contribute to our performance. Our continued investments in augmenting our capabilities, pushed our CMS business and specialty APS to uh, grow healthy in the years ahead. Even as we enter our position as a key API, prime API manufacturer. At the heart of our achievement lies our people. As we embark on the next chapter of our growth, attracting and retaining talented individuals who share our values and aspirations is of paramount importance. We are committed to developing a robust succession plan for our key roles, ensuring seamless transition and continuity of leadership and optimizing our organizational structure for enhanced effectiveness. Our management training program, which we have recently started investing in development plans for three talent, further strengthens our commitment to promoting leaders from within. Our primary goal is to cultivate a team of skilled professionals, especially in the critical areas like manufacturing, r and and quality assurance from our internal talent pool. Another key aspect of the growth is acquisition of top talent and their integration. This again has been a focus area for us and we are spending significant time and effort on this front. Newland is committed to upholding the high standards of governance and ethics. We prioritize compliance with applicable laws and regulations, recognizing the importance of strong institutional governance and discipline but in protecting the interest of our stakeholders. Since becoming a public entity early in 1994, our board has consistently maintained a balanced composition of skills capabilities, diversity to fulfill itself. We are continuously assessing and enhancing our governance structure to ensure it they encompass robust controls, enabling effective decision making and align with the evolving best practices, both local and globally. Toward this end, we have further strengthened and diversified the board with the addition of two new appointees. Sustainability is an integral part of our strategy with the aim to create a value for all our stakeholders. We have undertaken multiple measures to minimize our environmental impact with our targets being approved by the science-based target initiatives. Prioritizing employees' health and safety, emphasizing sustainable procurement and supporting local communities are focus areas as the past is being responsible for the corporate, as a part of being responsible for the corporate decision. Our initiatives were recognized externally, including being awarded the silver rating from Eco Wardis and SPG's ESG rating of 48, placing us in the top 8% of rated peers in our industry. 
However, this is just part of the journey on this front, and we are working towards adopting a ESG mindset both as a company and as individuals. Looking ahead, I firmly believe that New Zealand is positioned to uh, for a significant growth. Our strategic priorities are aligning us more closely to our customers and driving New Zealand transformation as a stronger and more agile entity for serving generic and innovator pharmaceutical companies. Our ongoing investments, robust by and, and strong reputation in the pharmaceutical sector further underpins our ability to deliver long-term value. Even as I am optimistic for future, I would once again like to caution that we are in a business which is unpredictable and uneven due to factors like clinical track outcomes, regulatory approvals, customer timelines, and variability in launch success. And now, and now on the raw material side competing with the other industries. On behalf of the board, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed customers, bankers, vendors, and shareholders for their trust and support. Also express the deepest appreciation to our employees for their hard work and dedication. At Newland, we remain steadfast in our commitment to collaborate with all our stakeholders to produce high quality pharmaceuticals and make a difference to human health. Together all, we continue our journey towards excellence. Thank you. I now instruct Ms. Sarda Bhamidipati to inform the statutory provision to the shareholders. Thank you, sir. I would like to inform the members that the company has extended e-voting facility in respect of all the businesses to be transacted at the 39th annual general meeting of the company. The remote e-voting commenced on 24th July at 9 a.m. and ended on 26th July at 5 p.m. Members as on cutoff date, that is July 21st, who have not exercised their vote through remote e-voting and participating in this AGM are entitled to vote during this meeting through e-voting facility. The company has appointed Mr. D. Hanmantraju and failing him, Mr. Mohit Kumar Goel partners, Hanmantraju and company, practicing company secretaries as scrutinizer to scrutinize the votes cast at the remote e-voting process and e-voting process during the AGM in a fair and transparent manner. Since this AGM is being convened through audiovisual means, all resolutions proposed in this AGM shall be decided through e-voting only. I now hand over uh, to the chairman. Okay, now we take questions and invite speakers. Now I ask. I ask the moderator to unmute the first speaker, a shareholder. Thank Please. you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we now begin with the question and answer session. Our first speaker member is Mr. Praful Chavda. Request you to kindly accept the prompt on your screen, unmute your audio and video, and you may proceed with your question. Mr. Praful Chavra, you may accept the prompt on your screen. We will, we will wait for a moment while Mr. Praful unmutes his audio and video. Okay. Sir, my voice is coming, sir. Yes, sir. Chairman, sir, Board of Directors. Yes, sir, to company ke shareholder ke liye. बहुत बहुत खुशी वाला रहा है बहुत खुशी रहा है शेयर का रेट हाई पे हाई जा रहा है और लॉन्ग टर्म इन्वेस्टर शेयर बेचते नहीं है पर इसका पोर्टफोलियो में पैसे बढ़ते हैं तो बहुत बहुत खुशी होती है इसका मैं राम मोहन सर सुचित सर और सहेश सर को धन्यवाद देता हूँ कि आप के फादर आप दोनों बेटे मिल और दूसरे डायरेक्टर ने मिल जो कंपनी को ऊँची ऊँचाई पर पहुँचाई है तो इसके लिए मैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूं सर खासतौर पे सर एजीएम रिपोर्ट बहुत बढ़िया बनाया है और सर अपना 300 आईपीआर प्रोसेसिंग डेवलपमेंट है तो इसे कितना बेनिफिट मिल रहा है कंपनी को इसके बारे में बताएंगे सर फाइनेंस प्रोफेशनल्स में लास्ट ईयर 953 करोड़ का बिजनेस ये साल 1200 करोड़ का बिजनेस करे 30% परसेंट और एबीटी का वन फोर्टी फोर करोड़ से सीधा टू एटी वन है डबल सर प्रॉफिट का देखे प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स लास्ट ईयर सिक्सटी थ्री करोड़ ए साल सीधा जंप लेके वन सिक्सटी थ्री करोड़ तकरीबन थ्री टाइम्स बोल सकते हैं और इसका 
आपका रिजल्ट का देख के शेयर मार्केट भी अप हो गया तो बहुत अच्छी बात है सर सर खास तौर पे ये पूछना है कि अपनी कंपनी में सीआरएस में ज्यादा से ज्यादा क्या काम हो रहा है किसको हेल्प मिल रही है उसके बारे में बताएंगे अभी जो स्टूडेंट लोग है उसको कितनी हेल्प मिल रही है जो गर्ल्स स्टूडेंट है उसको कितनी हेल्प मिल रही है सर मैंने देखा है कि आपकी कंपनी में जब सेक्रेटरी मैडम अपॉइंटमेंट हुए थे बाद में इमीडिएटली आपने रजिस्टर ऑफिस चेंज किया था जब भी रिजल्ट अच्छा आया था और अभी आपने एक नया कंपनी सेक्रेटरी आशित रोहित नाम है शायद राहुल नाम है मुझे याद नहीं रहता है तो उन्हें भी आया अभी एक साल हुआ और बम पर रिजल्ट आया तो क्या एस्ट्रोलॉजी के हिसाब से अपने कंपनी सेक्रेटरी के हिसाब से कंपनी का रिजल्ट देखने को मिलता है मैं ऐसा महसूस करता हूं सर तो इसके बारे में बताएंगे सर सर अभी जो अभी जो भी अपना शेयर होल्डर पैटर्न में देखे तो ज्यादातर बड़े लोग ही शेयर होल्डर है छोटे लोगों के पास तो ओनली 11 परसेंट ही शेयर है तो बड़े लोग इतना भी ट्रस्ट करके आज इतना एजीएम हो गया तो भी अपना भी 39 है रेडी लाइफ का भी 39 नाइन ईयर है तो 39 नाइन ईयर से भी लोग ने संभाल के रखे शेयर ताकि 80 परसेंट बड़े लोगों के पास रहना तो बहुत खुशी की बात है सर सर खास तौर पे एक बात भी पूछना चाहता हूँ कि अभी एक किस्सा चलता है लव जिहाद का तो अपने पास जो लेडीज एम्प्लॉय है इसको अपने कैसे बचाना है उसके बारे में अपने क्या स्लोगन लिख रहे हैं हर एक कंपनी में इसको बचाने के लिए क्या कर रहे हैं आजकल लोग कंपनी में ऐसा एम्प्लॉय बन के आते हैं उसको सैलरी नहीं चाहिए अपन गलत काम करने के आते थे इसको आप देखने के लिए क्या करते हैं धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू सर वी नाउ मूव टू आर नेक्स्ट स्पीकर मेंबर मिस्टर कमल किशोर जवाहर सर वी रिक्वेस्ट टू काइंडली एक्सेप्ट प्रॉम्प्ट न्यू स्क्रीन अनम्यूट योर ऑडियो एंड वीडियो and you may proceed with your question hello mera awaaz aa raha sir hello ha ah, sir okay thank you monitors chairman sir all leaders ko mera namaskar main bhi is company mein se ipo aaye jab se main is company mein share holder hu bahut se usa chadao dekha hu management ne kitna niche upar ek time kabhi aisa aaya kabhi ek time aisa aaya आज हमारे शेयर होल्डर के लिए गोल्डन डायमंड का दिन आ गया आपकी मेहनत से गोल्डन डायमंड सो आपने अभी शेयर प्राइस न्यू हाई है और आपने बीच में हमारे लोगों को रेड इश्यू भी कम प्रीमियम में दिए क्या बेनिफिट मिला है सब आपकी मेहनत से हमारे छोटे लोगों को उसके बाद से मैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ सर अपना अभी टेन रुपीज पेड अप शेयर है मैं चाहता हूँ कि स्टॉक स्पीड करिए तो बहुत अच्छा रहेगा स्टॉक भी से थोड़ा लिक्विडी बढ़ जाएगा तो अपना वन रुपीज या समथिंग या नहीं तो फाइव रुपीज या टू रुपीज जो भी करना है स्टॉक स्पीड करने से बहुत अच्छा रहेगा और अपना चेयरमैन स्पीड ने सब कुछ बता बता दिए तो हमको कुछ ज्यादा बोलने की जरूरत नहीं है और हमारे सचिव साहब रामाराव साहब सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट का परफॉर्मेंस बहुत अच्छा है साहब सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट में हमको कभी भी कुछ काम गिरता है मेरा एक डिवेंट का चेक पेंडिंग था सो मैंने भेजा दिया दूसरे दिन ही मेरा पूरा काम हो गया साहब क्या एक्सीडेंट सर्विस है सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट की इतना तारीफ करना चाहिए दूसरे दिन हमारे को ना चक का रिटर्न चक हमारे को मिल गया सो बहुत वेरी वेरी नाइस मैन सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट और सर एवरी ईयर ऐसी वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस करके कहीं भी शेयर होल्डर है तो हम आपकी मीटिंग अटेंड कर सकते हैं और सर आपको एक और एक नई बात बताना चाहता हूँ हमने भी नहीं सुना अभी एक दो साल से सुने हैं सो आपके भी ये दिमाग में माइंड में रहना चाहिए जैसा कि आप सी एस आर सी एस आर में डोनेशन देते हैं वो देते हैं अच्छे काम के लिए देते हैं सो अभी आजकल क्या हो रहा है हम एक कंपनी में गए तो एक ना आप ध्यान से सुनिए एक ट्रस्ट खोल लिए ट्रस्ट के नाम पे चेक ले लिया चार पांच आदमी मिलने के साथ हम मेरा वो लड़का ऐसा हॉस्पिटल में है वही है ना फाइल क्या कि चार लाख का बिल है दो लाख का बिल है आप सीएसआर में इतना पैसा देते हमको कुछ दिया बोल के वो फाइल को पूरे कंपनी को घुमाते हैं जहां कंकर लगाया स्टोन लगाया कुछ मिल गया सो बहुत अच्छा है सो एक कंपनी का मैनेजमेंट क्या सीएफओ को जाके बोले भाई ट्रस्ट है क्या है जाके देखो बोल के वहां जाके देखो ट्रस्ट का नाम बहुत बड़ा है और पूरे लेसन फार्मेटिकल पूरा है अंदर देखे तो शेयरों का काम चल रहा है और कुछ चल रहा है वो पैसे आपस में बांट ले रहे हैं और सो आप नेक्स्ट टाइम में सीएसआर में साहब आप अपने हाथ से करिए देखिए करिए आपकी मैंने से जो सीएसआर में देते हैं ना वो पुण्य आप 
आपको मिलना चाहिए पूरा और आपके एम्प्लॉइज को जो आपके एम्प्लॉइज मेहनत करके कंपनी डेवलपमेंट करके पैसा कमाती है तो हमारे शेयर होल्डर को पैसा मिलता है ये पैसा वेस्ट मत जाने दीजिए ये हमारे को एक कंपनी वाले ने बता दिया पिक्चर हम थर्टी फाइव ईयर्स फील्ड में मुंबई तो हम सुन के बहुत ताजुब हो गया ऐसा बड़े बाबर ये भी धंधा है ऐसा काम करे तो किसको काम करने की जरूरत नहीं है कुछ सर्विस करने का जरूरत नहीं है यही काम अच्छा है तो इसके बाद से बात बहुत आप अपना थोड़ा ध्यान में रखिए साहब आपका पैसा सही जगह पे जाना चाहिए और आपका चेयरमैन इससे बहुत अच्छा है साहब आपका फंफाइन बहुत अच्छा है बैलेंस शीट इससे बहुत जबरदस्त है और हमको फ्यूचर में हमारा शेयर प्राइस आते जब तक डबल हो जाएगा हमारे को फुल कॉन्फिडेंस है थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच Our next speaker member is Mr. Bharati Saraf. So we request you to kindly accept the prompt on your screen, unmute your audio, and to proceed with your question. Hello. Yes, sir. We are able to hear you. Just a minute. Manani Adak ji, who passed the nidhesh on Saturday again. अधिकारीगण और मेरे शेयर और भाइयों बहनों मैं संतोष कुमार सराफ भारतीय सराफ में ज्वाइंट होल्डर कलकत्ता से आप सभी को नमस्कार करता हूं आशा करता हूं आप अच्छे स्वास्थ्य में अच्छे से होंगे सर सर कंपनी में काफी अच्छा काम कर रही है और कंपनी मैनेजमेंट को मैं धन्यवाद देता हूं दस रुपया डिविजन के लिए सर काफी अच्छा डिविजन अपने देश के लिए धन्यवाद देता हूँ सर और सर अभी नया प्रोडक्ट आपने बाजार में क्या किया जिससे कंपनी ग्रोथ हो इसके बारे में कुछ हो तो बताइएगा सर एक सर मैं कहना चाहूंगा अपने डिस्प्यूट केसेस 2004 से काफी पेंडिंग है तो हमारी लीगल टीम क्या कर रही है तो केस कंपनी हो और हमारी बुक्स क्लीन हो इसके बारे में क्या करना चाह रहे हैं एक सर रिन्यूअल एनर्जी जो है उस कितनी अपनी यूज कर रहे हैं अपनी टोटल एनर्जी के अंदर में कितना परसेंटेज रिन्यूअल एनर्जी की खपत है इसके बारे में जरूर बताइएगा सर एक सर मैं कहना चाहूंगा कि आपकी सेक्रेटरी मैडम है लेकिन सर दुख का यह हो कि आपके यहाँ सिर्फ ग्यारह परसेंट इम्प्लाई जो है फीमेल है एट्टी नाइन परसेंट मेल है सर तो हमारे सरकार सेंट्रल सरकार चाहती है कि हम तीसरी महाशक्ति बने जैसे उन्होंने कहा कि हम बनेंगी तो सर इसके लिए वुमेन को पावर इम्पावरमेंट करना जरूरी है अगर वुमेन इम्पावरमेंट नहीं करें तो कैसे होगा कि हमारी जनसंख्या का 50 परसेंट वुमेन है अतः मैं आपसे रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा वुमेन को ज्यादा ज्यादा इम्पावरमेंट किया जाए हेलो हाँ सर आपकी आवाज आ रही है हाँ बस खत्म हो गया भैया थैंक यू सर हेलो 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 जस्ट मिनट यस सर यस सर यस सर So you may unmute yourself and proceed with your question. I think he's done. We can move yes, on. sir. So we move to our next speaker member, Mr. Bharat H. Shah. Request you to promote uh, to accept the prompt on your screen, unmute your audio and video, and you may proceed with your question. We will wait for a moment while. So unmute his audio and video. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman and uh, Mr. Chairman, Vice Chairman, sir, Board of Directors, sir, I have gone through your Chairman speech, and it was a you have given full presentation. Ah, uh, again, I am very happy that your your Newland Laboratories, our Chairman, must be very happy because both. Suchit and sir, sirs, they have created with you. They have created biggest wealth for shareholders, for the stakeholders, and we hope this kind of wealth creation will come in continue in coming years. So our EBITDA margin and net profit margin have doubled. We hope that this kind of margin will sustain in coming years, and our chair, our Newland Lab will be biggest wealth creator in coming years. And I wish. I wish the board of directors, chairman, board of directors, that this performance will continue in coming years. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. We have four speaker members, Mr. S. Padmanabhan, 
Mr. Prakash Chand Gadala, Mr. P. Jaichand, and Mr. A. V. Mani Sudran Sundaram, who had registered as speaker shareholders but have not joined the meeting. So we move to our last speaker member, Mr. Suresh Chand Jain. So we request you to kindly unmute your audio and video and pr proceed with your question. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. We are able to hear you. How was that, sir? Yes, sir. What is your voice? Hello. Sir, you can unmute the microphone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Adhani Chairman, sir. Opasi Sabi Director Gam. And the Sailor Order. Sir, I am the old Sailor Order of this company. I am the old Sailor Order of this company. इस कंपनी से जुड़ा हुआ हूँ और हर एजी में अटेंड करता हूँ क्योंकि कंपनी के जो चेयरमैन इस पीछ इस पीछ बहुत ही सरल भाषा में बहुत ही सुचारू रूप से आपने आपने कंपनी के जो रूप में का हमारे सामने रखते हैं उसके लिए हम बहुत ही उत्साहित रहते हैं सर मेरे पास अभी तक चार पांच फिजिकल चेयर चेयर है और मैं इसके अंदर भी शेयर हूँ क्योंकि आपकी कंपनी का कहीं उतार चढ़ाव मैंने दे अपने आंखों से देखा है और आप आप तथा आपकी टीम लगातार मेहनत मेहनत करते हुए कंपनी को किधर से किधर पहुंचा दिया क्योंकि हमें उम्मीद भी नहीं थी कि इतनी जल्दी और आप आप इतना मेहनत करते हुए आप कंपनी को आगे के तरफ लेके जाएंगे सर मैं मैं आप लोगों को धन्यवाद देता हूं क्योंकि सिल्वर जुबली को मैंने आपको मान सम्मान देते हुए मोतियों की माला से स्वागत किया उसका फल आज हमें प्राप्त हो रहा है सर एक्चुअल देखा जाए तो जो हम पैसा लगाए आपके ड्यूडेंट के अंदर ही हमें हमें मिल चुका है ये जो हमारे पास जो शेयर है हमारे पास फ्री के अंदर आप लोग कर दिए और मैं चाहूंगा कि भारत की प्रगति में आप लोगों का भी बहुत बड़ा योगदान है सर अभी कमल किशोर जी बोल रहे थे डोनेशन के बारे में वो हकीकत में सही है मैं और कमल किशोर जी गए थे एक ऑफिस के अंदर वो वहां का जो चेयरमैन है उन्हें ये कहानी सुना रहा था सर और मैं चाहूंगा कि जो भी डोनेशन है आप अपने हाथों से कीजिए एक कंपनी को कंपनी को फायदा होएगा और कंपनी को लाभ मिलेगा उनका आशीर्वाद हमें मिलेगा और हम दिन दुनी रात चौकी तक तरक्की करते हुए हम अपने मंजिल तक पहुंच सकेंगे आपने जो समय दिया उसके लिए मैं आप लोगों को धन्यवाद देते हुए मैं अपने विचारों को विराम देता हूं देता हूं आप लोगों को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू सो मच सर तो वी हैव जस्ट we just have mr av mani sundaram who has just joined the meeting so we request you to kindly accept the prompt on your screen unmute your audio and video and proceed with your question hello hello yes sir hello. we are able to hear you yes sir uh, i am mani sundaram shareholder of the laras lab in new land lab with uh, Video conference. I am happy to attend this meeting from Salem, Tamil Nadu. Uh, we have done good uh, talk, and we have done speech uh, to the uh, people for attending the meeting. And also, this is uh, this year is third and the annual general board meeting. I thanks company secretary, board of director, chairman. I am happy to attend this meeting. I have to request to the uh, have extraordinary general body meeting by physical. Lot of companies are having uh, conducting meeting by physical only. Please do the needful. We requesting uh, by means of uh, physical meeting. Thank you, thanks, sir. Thank you so much, sir. This yes. was the last question. I now hand over the meeting to Chairman Sir for further proceedings. Over to you, sir. 
Mr. G. S. Chetan and uh, Vice Chairman and CEO and Mr. G. S. Sir, Vice Chairman Manager to be shall address the questions from the shareholders. Yeah, there are questions from the shareholders on the chart box. Company secretary read the questions from the chat box. Yes. Okay. There is only one question on the chat box, sir. So this is a question from Mr. Yashvi Kothari. The message is: You have mentioned in your annual report that you are expecting that two molecules will commercialize this year. So can you provide some update on these molecules, like about its market size and for which treatment it is being used? That's the only question on the chat box. Once again, a very good morning to everyone. Uh, I think picking up from where uh, the chairman is uh, left off, I would like to acknowledge uh, the role that all our suppliers, our customers, our banks, our regulatory as well as our statutory agencies. Uh, and least but not the least, all the individuals who've been employed with Newland have played in the success of the organization. I would also like to acknowledge the role of the uh, independent directors in uh, guiding the management uh, and being there for providing sound advice as and when needed. I think having said that and given the results, most of the questions today from uh, Mr. From Mr. Praf Praful Chavda, Mr. Kamil Kishore, uh, Mr. Bharti Saraf, uh, Mr. Bharat Shah, Mr. Suresh Chan, and uh, Mr. Uh, A.V. Mani all have been around the CSR activities, their concerns around how the CSR funds are being spent and where are they being spent. And the other questions have been around diversity as well as uh, women empowerment. I think as far as the results of the company are concerned, uh, all the shareholders would have seen and read the annual report, as well as the video that was covered during the beginning of these proceedings. So we will not uh, go into repeating any of those numbers. But coming to the CSR activities on behalf of the management, as well as the board, I would like to assure the shareholders that uh, the CSR activities are taken up equally to support the ecosystem around all our manufacturing as well as our R&D facilities. The projects that we get requests from include projects for roadways, um, distribution of water, for uh, education of the girl child, for women empowerment. And we have a very strong uh, dedicated committee of the board for CSR that takes a look at all the proposals that we are receiving, does a thorough evaluation and allocates the CSR funds for all kinds of projects to support our ecosystem that has also been responsible for the success of the organization. Uh, having said that, and it is a very valid concern raised by the shareholders, when we distribute funds for the CSR, we actually allocate the funds directly to the vendors that are supporting these CSR projects. So it's a very valid concern uh, to check whether our funds are being utilized or not. And as an organization, we have the right controls in place to ensure that there's no misuse of CSR funds via giving it directly to the vendors. And we also do a periodic audit of going and visiting the sites of the CSR and the projects and making sure that the funds have been spent the way they're supposed to be spent. And the report is actually comes back to the CSR committee as well. So our shareholders can be rest assured that this is how we manage our funds. Now quickly coming to women empowerment, I think it's an absolute valid point and one of the top priorities for the organization. In spite of being a highly hazardous chemical and pharmaceutical manufacturing organization, today we have close to about 11% of all our employees as women. We've set our internal targets for the current financial year and for the next five years in terms of how we would like to see uh, the percentage of women employed in our organization, therefore contributing to the overall success of the organization will shift over the next five years. So we share this priority with our shareholders, the board, as well as the management and everyone employed and all the leaders in the organization are focused on uh, 
making women, women empowerment and women employment a priority within this organization. I think with respect to the molecules that we plan to commercialize, uh, Hush, do you want to share any views on the overall uh, CMS, GDS molecules commercialization, just at a high level? Okay, sure. Um, so um, I think the question was referred to uh, two new molecules that we had talked about in our annual report uh, as uh, molecules that would uh, potentially drive growth for the business going forward. I think in the uh, maybe slightly broader context, uh, we have uh, talked about uh, our CMS business growing, uh, not because of just the organic growth of the existing molecules, but also because the company has been steadily adding new molecules over the past couple of years and uh, our anticipation of adding further new molecules going forward. The CMS business, which was at approximately around 450 crores, has already achieved a certain level of growth because of commercialization of some of these molecules. We have uh, in the uh, foreseeable future, which is maybe next one to three years, we have another three to four molecules that uh, are uh, likely to further drive this growth. Uh, the two specific molecules also that we had talked about in this context, uh, which are likely to commercialize in the next 12 to 18 months, are uh, uh, currently being scaled up. These molecules are also part of the CMS uh, portfolio. And one of the um, uh, characteristics of our CMS business is that these molecules are uh, bound by confidentiality that we have with our uh, customers, which are uh, in this case, uh, US-based biopharmaceutical companies or biotech companies as we call. So unfortunately we're not uh, uh, at liberty to reveal uh, any details about these molecules, but what uh, we can share is that the potential revenue from these molecules are significantly higher than those of the molecules that we have commercialized in the past. And therefore, uh, they offer an opportunity to uh, have a very exciting growth rate for the CMS business. But uh, because of the confidential nature of the business, our inability to reveal the specifics of the molecules. Also, given the fact that these are still new drugs, which are either recently approved or on the cusp of approval, uh, we don't know uh, how these uh, drugs will do in the next few years. There could also be a small possibility that they may not be as successful as uh, expected. So in light of that, I think uh, we should uh, expect uh, uh, the company to continue to commercialize new molecules, not just on the CMS front, but also on the GDS front. And uh, the idea is that uh, we have a healthy portfolio of molecules then the chances of uh, at least a few of them um, commercializing successfully uh, would be very high. And uh, so I think that would be how we would look at this portfolio at this point. Thanks, thanks, Sash. I think last but not the least request about uh, uh, physical uh, a meeting at the AGM. I think the management and the board would definitely like to look at doing a physical meeting. We would love to meet uh, and talk to our shareholders as well. So I think we've definitely taken that on uh, the record. I think a couple of uh, questions yeah, uh, on the chat box. Um, Any plan for new capex or uh, organic expansion? Then another question is, given the prices of chemicals are lower compared to last year due to China dumping, how much of this is benefit? Or how much this benefit is reflected in our RN purchase? Even if you are in buying directly from China, I'm asking this as our margins in that case might not be sustainable once prices normalize. So, uh, a very good morning. Uh, so, on CapEx, we have uh, plans uh, to invest, uh, but this will be triggered by uh, by events uh, based on you know contracts that we sign with our customers. Uh, as and when we do that, and that's point number one. Point number two is you would have also observed that over the last 15 months, we have really focused on reducing our net debt position. And that's kind of giving the signal that as we improve our net debt position, and we should kind of come to a very good position in the next uh, one or two quarters, right? We will have the muscle power to 
make those investments uh, based on uh, returns. Yeah. I think just to add to what Abhijit said, approximately we have budgeted about 100 crores of capex for the current financial year. As Abhijit rightly put, uh, that capex could change based on the opportunities uh, that come by and the confidence that the board feels in terms of the business that will actually fund the uh, capex. Having said that, yes, we are uh, always looking to grow organically as well as uh, inorganic opportunities as the shareholders would know. We had acquired a uh, facility about five years ago uh, from Arch Pharma Labs, um, which has been constantly commercialized over the last five years. And today we've reached a point where it's close to about 60% uh, utilization. And we continue to look at that acquisition from a very strategic point of view, both in terms of adding new products and further expansion to accommodate the future plans of the organization. Thank you. And we want yeah. to respond to the no, RM prices. Okay. Yeah, um, I think good question on the RM prices. I think as part of the uh, budgeting exercise, as the shareholders would know, we constantly look at the RM prices at the beginning of the budgeting cycle and through the budgeted year as well. So we're constantly monitoring to see how the raw material prices are increasing, what is the impact of that pricing on our top as well as our uh, bottom line. Having said that, uh, you know, in the current year, I would say in FY23 and FY24, we expect the raw material prices to actually stay very consistent. At the beginning of last year, we had expected a very steep increase in our raw material prices. In fact, we expected the impact on our profit and loss to be on the account of close to 53 crores or so, uh, given the situation in China price escalation. But by the end of the year, uh, you know, the impact was far less than what we'd anticipated. Uh, in the current year, uh, we expect that there will not be any positive or negative impact compared to where we've budgeted the raw material prices. But obviously, it's something that we continuously look at to make sure that we're in a position to make those corrections. Thank you. With that, I would like to give it to the chairman to render the vote of thanks. Thank I, I would like to thank all the shareholders for taking time to join this meeting. I thank all the directors who have joined this meeting from various locations. I would also like to thank all our customers, vendors, bankers, and stakeholders. You will facility remain open for the next 15 minutes to enable those eligible members who have not cast their votes yet and would like to exercise their vote. The results will be announced within the stipulated timelines, and the same will be debated to the uh, short changes and uploaded on the website of the company and MSDM. Now, with your permission, I and other board members would like to take leave from the meeting. I wish all the members a health and safe future. Thank you.
Dear members, since the time allowed for e-voting has elapsed, the meeting is concluded. Once again, thank you all for your participation.